My name is Dr. Ajibola. In this video, we'll be talking about purine synthesis. And if you have not watched the video for pyrimidine synthesis, so you can just pause and watch that video before this. So looking at this pathway, don't forget in the previous lecture we said the purines, the mnemonic we gave for the purines, the purines nicoda is pure as good. Pure as good. And the PDS purines, the AA is adenosine monophosphate and the GDA is guanosine monophosphate. And that's what we want to produce from this pathway. Or you can call AMP is also called the adenylic acid. And then um, GMP is also called guanylic, guanylic acid. And let's start from here. So starting here, we are starting with ribose 5-phosphate. So we are starting with ribose 5-phosphate. And from the ribose 5-phosphate, by the help of, we also add ATP to it. So with the help of this enzyme, PRPP synthetase, we want to form PRPP. And don't forget, remember, anytime you see synthetase or synthase, that means from the name of the enzyme, you can actually know the product. So here, we are going to be producing PRPP. And don't forget, one of the, one of the pathways that can actually donate ribose 5 phosphate for this pathway, so it can come from the HMP shunts. So we can get it from the HMP shunts. And I wish I to talk about it later. And then from here, the PRPP is going to donate the, the ribose 5-phosphate to glutamine. So in this round, so we want to now form 5-phosphoribosylamine. And don't forget from the um, pyrimidine part, remember we said that this PRPP can also donate the ribose 5-phosphate to orotic acid. And then that's actually how we form the UMP at that part by the help of a UMP synthase. So, like I said, so you can watch the previous lecture to be able to check out this area. And then, so for and the name of the enzyme here is glutamine PRPP amidotransferase. And this this enzyme is actually the rate limiting. So this is the rate limiting step. So because it's the rate limiting step, that is also going to be tightly controlled. And then coming here, what will be the fate of this 5 phosphor ribosylamine? So through multiple steps, we want to add glycine, aspartate, glutamine. And we also require folate here to donate carbon to this reaction. So we have to form inosine monophosphate. We have to form inosine monophosphate. And also be the fate of inosine monophosphate. We can convert it to, we can make AMP from it, which is adenosine monophosphate, or we can also make guanosine monophosphate by the help of IMP dehydrogen, which is inosine monophosphate dehydrogen. And the source of amino, amino group or amino acid, the nitrogen to make a, the GMP is from glutamine, and to make AMP is from aspartate. So I think you can just use the, so glutamine, so like G, so G. And the aspartate A for A, so you can use to remember both of them. So people have the supplementer, you can actually open to page two of the supplementer, so that's where we so that's you can see the pathway there. So let's go by the pathway again and let's put uh, um, the where drugs can inhibit on this pathway. So looking at the first conversion, the ribose 5 phosphate to PRPP by the help of PRPP synthetase. And the PRPP is also converted to 5 phosphoribosylamine by the help of glutamine. And here we want to form glutamate. And the name of the enzyme is glutamine PRPP amidotransferase. And like I said earlier, this is actually the rate limiting step. And we have things that can actually inhibit this pathway. So, one of the things that can inhibit this enzyme, so one is AMP. And now it's GMP, and the last one is IMP, and this is our IMP here, which makes sense. So all these products from this part, so they are actually regulating the production from this conversion of this part, which kind of like product trying to regulate the amounts that are going to be produced. 
So, so the AMP from here, GMP and IMP. So if you have more than enough, so we don't want to be producing much, so we are, you can as well slow down or inhibit this conversion. And then we can also have what can also stimulate this enzyme. I also know this enzyme is still the same PRPP. So this PRP, the substrate here, so it stimulates the conversion of PRPP into 5 phosphoribose lamine. And then we also have drug, drugs that can inhibit this pathway. So we have drugs that can inhibit glutamine, PRPP, amidotransferase. And then one of the drugs that can inhibit this pathway is 6 mercatopurine so cis mercatopurine can inhibit this pathway another another drug that can also inhibit this pathway is azathioprine but don't forget azathioprine is a pro drug to cis mercatopurine in other words that means azathioprine is actually metabolized into cis mercatopurine and cis mercatopurine is actually inhibiting can inhibit this enzyme so in other words if somebody is taking cis mercatopurine then we can have Decreased production of inosin monophosphate and decreased production of these purines, and then that can also lead to maybe bone marrow suppression because all those cells that are rap rapidly divide that require DNA, they will not be able to divide. And then, um, if you look at this drug, so these two drugs, cis mercatopurine, they are actually metabolized by this enzyme. So, we should actually see when we get to purine salvage, and the name of the enzyme is xanthine oxidase so these drugs so they are metabolized by xanthine oxidase so in other words if somebody is taking it if somebody is taking a drug that is inhibiting xanthine oxidase like allopurinol so that means you know you have to metabolize these drugs and if you can metabolize them, that means you have to have increase in their blood level so that means you have to be the that patient has to be prone to the toxicity or the side effect of this medication and let's continue so coming here, so you can see we convert 5 phosphoribosylamine into inosine monophosphate by multiple steps, which require glycine, aspartate, and glutamine. And also require carbon from tetrahydrofolate. So you have to form AMP and GMP by the help of IMP dehydrogenase. So IMP dehydrogenase converts inosine monophosphate to AMP or to GMP phenolates, mycophenolates. So mycophenolates also inhibits IMP dehydrogens also revolving. And um, so let's go through this drug. And what do you use um, these drugs for? So, like cis mercatopurine as a therapy. So, we can also use them for, as a what's called for immunosuppression. So, we can use them in condition for to prevent organ rejection. We can use them what's called chronic inflammation, like inflammatory bowel disease. We can use in lupus, like lupus nephritis, and so on and so forth. Mycophenia is also used for the same um, indication, like for. To prevent organ rejection, we also use for lupus nephritis. We also use for, we can also use for psoriatic arthritis. As opposed to rebarbarin, rebarbarin is for FC. You can use for FC. I also use rebarbarin for RSV, RSV. And then um, so rebarbarin can be used for FC, hepatitis C. I also use for RSV. And which other medication can we also use for RSV? So don't forget, you can also use palivisumab for RSV. And that we have to talk about when we get to micro. So I think that's end. That's the end of this um, session. So the next session we have to talk about purine salvage and also to the breakdown of purine and um, pyrimidine. Thank you.